Hello everybody, this is Double RPG here, and welcome back to another episode of Double RPG Let's Play with Conker's Bad Fur Day on the Nintendo 64. In today's episode, we're going to finish up with the mansion and get out of here, so that way we can explore some newer things that we can actually do in this game. And after we completed the mansion, we probably have completed about two-thirds of this game, but uh, you shall see what all we do as we get out of this place safely from all the zombies that are causing havoc around here. Anyway, gamers, let's go ahead and get on with this episode that's already in progress, shall we? Now, before we go and deal with uh, finding the second, uh, what do you call it? The second, uh, is it up there? Is it up on the third floor? Actually, yeah, it is, now that I think about it. Anyway, uh, what I was trying to do, there's actually the switch that we can hit that will actually bring up a ladder for us to climb to where we can actually obtain that, where we can actually climb up that ladder to obtain those few pieces of chocolate that we missed out on. And hopefully no zombies are going to give us any trouble while we do this, but uh, anyway, let's get back on track with uh, taking care of this. And I think the gameplay here is, you know, with the uh, over-the-shoulder view, is pretty much a precursor before Resident Evil 4, and I know there was a gameplay element, I know this gameplay element was pretty much introduced in Deus Ex, Mo I think Deus Ex Machina, which was the first game in the Deus Ex series, and then it became a prominent feature within uh, the rest of the games to this day. And, uh, I can't grab you, or I can't get you from where I'm at. So I think I'm gonna have to get off the, uh, I'm gonna have to get off the stairs here and then just shoot you from down on the ground floor. And there are some things that are laughing in the background. Why would children be laughing in a place when it looks so scary? Actually, let's just uh, get over here and uh, just shoot this uh, zombie if we can. And uh, we will attract its attention to come after us. Yeah, um, if you're if a zombie's really far away from you, you won't be able to blast their heads off. So thought I'd let you know about that right now. Come on, shoot it. There we go. All right, headshot. Boom. Headshot for the win. Okay, now for us to get over to where the one thing is, we actually need to come this way. And uh, we got quite a huge force of zombies that we need to shoot when we're inside this place. And uh, I have to tell you, this is not a pretty place to where, to where you want to uh, try to get away from the zombies and such. Or, you know, fight against the zombies. Come on, get over here. And sometimes they will come quickly out of the corridors there that you have that you will hardly have any time to react against them when they're coming after you. Get over here. Boom! Headshot. I think I I think that was a neck shot rather. Like uh, if we come this way, there's actually a zombie right over there. And uh, let's see if we can uh, try to shoot. Oh, why can't we? Uh, uh, there we go. Try again. Okay, so we got its attention, and we are going to lure it over here, so that way we can shoot its head off. There we go. And where's the next one? Oh, okay, so, uh, I think the next one is just beyond this corridor here. And, uh, if we can avoid them somehow. Actually, no. You know what? Since, uh, that... Dining room is a big wide open area. I think we're gonna jump on top of the dining table and we'll take care of the zombies from there. And by coming up here, I think there's actually a villager or something that appears here where the zombies are located. Or sometimes I actually do see a villager that's located inside this room where these zombies are. Okay, very good. Take care of that one. Oh, come on. Sometimes the cursor can be a little bit off when you're trying to catch these guys. Oh. Yep, that's a villager, all right. But what was it doing here? How is it still alive? I don't know, but it's still around here, trying to escape from the zombie massacre that is known as... Uh, Squirrels of the Living Dead, or Dawn of the Squirrels, or whatever. I know. I'm trying to come up with names, you know, for, uh, that, that have squirrels that act as the zombies based on the Living Dead series. But evidently, it's not working. Okay, there's some more zombies right over here. 
Get over here. Get over here, you undead creep. Oh, dang it. You made me miss your head. There you go. All right, so uh, now we can go ahead and we can move this way. And I don't think we're going to be able to see any zombies just for a little bit. So uh, I think it's a good place for us to move a little bit faster. And then once we see another zombie, we'll just have to give him a good warm greeting. Or give it a warm greeting. It could be a she, you never know. I mean, there are female zombies here after all. Okay, so there's that one. And uh, if we could try to get over there and uh, shoot that creep in the head. Good, headshot. And there's one that's actually right over there. So, uh, actually, you know what? We're just gonna, we're just gonna lure him over here so that way we can take care of him once and for all. Unless if he can move a little bit faster. Slow poke. You're too slow, one. You're too slow. Ha ha ha. Gotcha, headshot there. Okay, now we're gonna come over here and we're actually gonna stand on top of this because this is actually a safe zone from zombies. Yeah, believe it or not, just like the tombstones in the graveyard, we can actually protect ourselves from being bitten by zombies up here. I know, right? Very, very, very good to know. Get over here. Oh, nope, that didn't take care of you. So, uh, let's try it again. Oh, mi oh I missed. Get over here. Okay, very good. And let's see, are there any more? Oh, 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 that was just the key. I thought that was another zombie. I was going to be like, oh, God. <laughs> anyway, I think there's another zombie this way. I can hear one. And I think it's up near this pathway or something. Oh, yes, there it is. Shoot you in the head. We will. And, uh... And there's one that's right over there. So we might as well go ahead and take care of that so that way it doesn't bother us when we're trying to go back inside the mansion with the other key. So anyway, let's get it over here. And then we will do some more head blasting. Head blasting for you. Okay, very good. All right, that takes care of that one. And I think that's the last of them here in this graveyard. Or in the courtyard, that is. Oh, okay. Its name is actually Concula, not not Bat Bat Batcula or Bacula or whatever. It's actually Concula because of the name of the big huge tombstone or whatever. Okay, it's time to take this with us and we need to take you back over to the front door. What we're going to do is we're actually going to go this way so that way we can actually avoid all those zombies that we sh you know that we shot and then we can make our way back over to the entrance with the uh, with this key now i will warn you guys if you're playing this and you're trying to get the keys if you die when playing this segment then you have to start the process all over again with obtaining all three keys so you have to do this in one setting i know it may be a pain but uh... evidently it's the truth you're gonna have to uh... do your best to you know, watch out for all the zombies within this place and take care of them wherever you see them if you want to get out of here alive. So, yeah, just take your time and you should be okay. And, uh, I don't think there's any zombies in here, but I know there will be some newer ones that, uh, that appear back in the corridor. There's actually one that appears right there, but we're just going to zip on past it and, uh, we're just going to hightail it back over to the entrance. And I think there will be some more that come in this way, if I'm not mistaken. Nope, they're all gone? Oh, I think we might have saved ourselves uh, a round tripper there. Anyway, so yeah, we are safe at the door. So let's go ahead and bring this key over here and use it on this uh, lock. And that will actually open up a new spot within this place. And you want to know what that new spot is? Well, it actually opens up that, uh, it actually opens up or it actually unlocks that uh, that ladder for us. Let's see. Let's see if we can try to get over that ladder without dying, shall we? May not be an easy task, but uh, we'll try. Uh, I'm not sure if we're going to be able to make it, but it doesn't hurt to try it out. Oh, no, we can make it. Okay, very good, very good. Very nice. Now, there's an easy way on how you can get the third key when you're in this room if you don't want to take this other path 
you know, to try to get over to where the key is. Anyway, we come up here and... What? It's all gone? No way! I thought... I thought they respawn. I thought the chocolate responds. Evidently, that's not the case! Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. God, 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 God. God, I can't do that. I can't do that. Okay. Like I said, one more hit and then I'd be... Then I'd go bye-bye. So, uh, let's, uh, try it again. And make sure we get over there without dying. Because I don't want to have to start this process all over. And I really don't want to take my chances, but I really don't have a choice. Actually, we can jump on here. And, uh, and actually jump on here. And then we can jump up here, and we can reach the key this way. Never thought that would happen, huh? Well, now you know. And knowing is half the battle, right? And, uh, can we not get back down? Uh, did I just screw myself over? I think I just did. Oh, no, 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 no! Come on! I'll be right back, guys. So, yes, I am evidently going to have to deal with the inevitable. And I'm going to have to commit suicide here. And start this process all over again. So, I'll be right back. Alright, we're finally back. And that took me about 10 minutes of my time to try to get back through all that stuff. But thank God we didn't have to deal with the bats, you know, with the crossbow. But anyway, the thing that I missed out on was over here. Because what we need to do is we actually need to jump up and grab the switch, if we can. Come on, get up there. There we go. And by hitting that switch, that will actually open up that doorway, and it will lead us to a pathway that's just underneath the foyer. So, I guess that was the thing that I missed out on. And we now have safe passage to, uh... Ow. We now have safe passage to take that key back to the main entrance. And, uh... Let's go ahead and climb up this way, and we will go grab that key, and we will take it back to the front door and get out of this mansion for good. Uh, I think we just had about enough of dealing with uh, bats. I mean, I think we had enough with dealing with uh, Conkula and dealing with the villagers as well as zombies in general. So let's go ahead and take our prize possession, and we will hightail it to the entrance. Make sure that the key doesn't break either, so... Anyway, we'll just go through here, and that will take us back out to the main foyer, and now let's take it to the front door. And of course, there are some zombies that are going to give us trouble, but we'll be sure to uh, pay them their respects before we leave. So anyway, let's use this last key, and let's get out of here. Nice! The door is open, and we can hightail it out of here finally. Oh, yeah, I forgot about those. Oh, yeah, we forgot about those guys. Hmm. And look, it's that same barrel who we hmm. saw at the Windy Valley, yeah. or the windmill, up at the entrance, or up where the windmill was, but, yeah, it looks like he made it over here just fine, or it could be somebody entirely different, but, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and take care of some zombies before we get out of this place, because, uh, they're not gonna, they're not gonna greet us that very nicely when we're trying to get out of here. Where did they go? And they're over here somewhere. There we go. And I think one is just down below us. Yep, right there. And uh, we can't even hit it. Oh well, I think we're supposed to come down here and shoot them anyway, so... Uh, oh, there's that one right there. Make sure that one doesn't come up over at the side. I'd hate for it to. I don't think it will, so let's go ahead and take care of that one. And then we will ride the barrel out of here. Get, get your butt over here. Hey, 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 get off me, get off me. Get off me, get off me, get off me. One thing to note is that if you die when fighting against the zombies, you won't even have to try to rework your way back up, you know, trying to get the keys and all that. Oh, come on! Dang it! You! Get off me! You suck! You suck for a zombie. 
Get your butt over here so I can blow your brains out. Jerk. There. Okay, now that we've taken care of that, let's hightail it out of here finally. And, uh, let's go ahead and just, uh, go through the entrance here, and then we will ride the barrel down the pathway, so that way we can actually take care of those, uh, spider worm or those skeletal worms down the pathway. Now be careful, because when you go down this pathway, there are bunches of curves here to where you could potentially fall off. So just take your time going down here, and then you should come out fine. I would recommend not keeping your thumb on tact with the uh, joystick at all times because it could ruin your alignment when coming down the uh, when coming down this uh, pathway okay we finally made it out of here and now it's time for us to go up that waterfall and or we're supposed to go up that river to see if we can actually get out of this place a different way and indeed we will but first things first we got to cross the graveyard and thank god there are no zombies around here or else I probably would have you know, pulled my hair out because I really don't want to deal with those guys anymore. But anyway, let's come down here and we'll ride this barrel in the water. And hey, there's catfish again. And I wonder if Greg's still at the dock there trying to get rid of the catfish. But anyway, that doesn't matter because we actually need to go up this way. And there is another pathway there that we can use to get out of this place. And you might be surprised where that pathway will take us. Well, you'll just have to feast your eyes in about a few seconds. Hey, there was some money right there. Speaking of money. Yo, you want some green stuff? Yeah, we'll take the green stuff. Speaking of money, I think there was one thing of cash that I missed out on, but it's back over by the uh, the Pooh Manufacturing House. So I think we will go do that in the next episode, but uh, let's get out of this area here and I sh shall show you where exactly we are. Some of you might already know where we're at. But yes, we come over here. We're back at the beginning where we started. And there is Birdie right over there sleeping. And uh, what, see what happens when we try to wake him up? Watch this. Oh yeah, he's telling us to uh, piss off or whatever. He's saying it in the other manner. But yes, let's go ahead and uh, climb up our way again. And we will try to exit this place and go back into... Oh, no, 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 no! Oh, come on! Dang it! My first fall! with this place. <laughs> I didn't even think that was going to happen. Well, anyway, let's try it again. Get out of this place fully, and we won't even have any problems on our hands. And you might be surprised what movie reference is going to be coming up next after, you know, Dracula and Night of the Living Dead. It's actually kind of hysterical when you think about it. But, uh, like I said, I will keep that until the next episode, but I will get over to the entrance of the valley where the windmill is and then we'll close things off here which we should do so about about uh, right here where I stopped at the first episode so yeah let's go ahead and stop things right here for the for today so anyway gamers next time on double RPG let's play with Conker's Bad Fur Day on the Nintendo 64 we're gonna resume where we left off and we're we're gonna go back to the valley where the windmill is and see where fate will take us next and like I said, you will be surprised with the type of movie reference that's going to be coming up in the next episode that takes place right after, you know, Bram Stoker's Dracula, Nine of the Living Dead, and Dr. Frankenstein, with all those movie references going on and about. But you shall see. Anyway, gamers, if you have not done so already, be sure to follow me on Facebook and Twitter with the links in the description. And if you like what you saw, then be sure to rate this video, subscribe to my channel, and leave comments below to let me know what you guys thought of this episode. Anyway, gamers, take care of yourselves, and I shall see you on the next episode. Thank you all for watching. And I'll see you guys then.